Hi, I'm Clara Moyano. I'm the materials engineer at Parker Hanifi Instrumentation Europe. And I'm here today to talk to you about something we see a lot of industry called PREN. PREN, or pitting resistant equivalent number, is a number derived from the standard chemistry of any given alloy and tell us about how resistant a material is to pitting corrosion. Now, pitting corrosion is a type of localized corrosion that affects many industries and can be avoided by selecting the right material. PREN is calculated by using a mathematical model. There are many formulas out there, but the most commonly used in industry is the one given by NACE or the National Association of Corrosion Engineers. As you can see here, the chromium or CR, molybdenum or MO, tungsten or W, and nitrogen or N are the main contributors to the corrosion resistance of a given alloy. So PREN is a corrosion resistance indicator, a very useful value for engineers to compare and rank different alloys and select the right material for a given application. Larger values of PRENs indicate a higher resistance when pitting is a hazard, as it is the case of chloride-containing environments such as seawater, very common in the oil and gas industry. PREN, along with other performance indicators, can be used to build a business case for the usage of corrosion resistant alloys, where the high capital investment can be justified in terms of safety and reliability, asset integrity, low maintenance costs, and a trouble free operation. PREN should be used as a general guideline and not an absolute value. Remember that PREN on its own cannot predict the life performance of a given alloy in a real service condition. In the oil and gas industry, for example, it's common to use a materials with a PREN number of 32 or higher for seawater applications and a PREN number of over 40 for H2S applications. So with over decades of materials experience and thousands of successful applications, Parker is here to help.